go. Okay, so we're to a point of fitting the historic pod to the conserved seat. The pod has been cleaned. It's filled mostly with um, uh, flax straw and a uh, little bit of Spanish moss mixed with some excelsior as well, so that would be wood shavings. There are some questions as to what the historic elevations were relative to the back rail. As you can see, this dips deeply in and leaving an empty area between the bottom and side back rail and the seat edge roll, which means that the there is an opening or a view down into the mattress level, which I cannot imagine would have been correct. I believe that this edge roll would have have masked this opening and that it actually packed up. Now I'm going to lift this edge roll just a bit to where you can have a view of the back side of the edge roll and the interior of the pod. You can see all of the flax straw that is relatively thin compared to the cavity that is that we're seeing on the back side of, the ra of this um, spring up in the rail. So I am going to lift the elevation to accommodate um, uh, the closure of this, this opening between the inside back and the seat. Uh, I think the best way to achieve that is to fill it with Algerian or shredded palm fronds rather than going to Coeur or something that's more um, uh, springy or hair that's springy because it will just compact too much. We need something fairly coarse and long strand. and We'll show that a little bit later on. Now if you can move the camera a little bit forward. We'll Do you notice to... that um, our shop cat, our, my, Jai followed me in here. I oh. left the door open. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to drop? Yeah. Okay. The elevation is very close as far as um, how the springs were tied, the elevation of the springs relative to the edge roll and pod. You can see that there's some failure along this line because of, of a hollow that occurred behind the edge roll between the pod and the spring. If I lift it, you'll see the hollowed area. This is the old burlap. I've left it in. It will eventually come out. But for now, I'm tucking it in. And likewise, I'll be filling this cavity with Algerian. 